Today I thought I'd show you what it involves when I make my box sets. I use one of these boxes, different colours, a wax burner and some of my melts and I dress it all up together. First thing I do is start with the bows. I am awful at tying bows and I found this little gadget called a bow dabra and it's the best thing ever. Even I can now tie bows. To use one of these, you can either use thread or wire. Um, I quite like using ribbon to hold our bow together. So we thread it through both of those. I had a bit of an accident, I dropped it, so it still works fine. Now we need to put on the tail of our bow. I've got a length, folded it in half, folded the ends in half, Cut the dovetail, and that's the tails for our bow. So you thread that through, through the hole in the middle, side to side, like that. Now we need the body of our bow. I'm going to use that same ribbon, but I'm also going to use some white organza with it. So what we're going to do is thread them both at the same time. I just find it so much easier. Now, because of that, we've got the front and we've got a back. So we're going to start with the front facing down. I'll show you the process of making it. So we push it through, push it right down, and we'll have about an inch hanging this side. Now the other side, we make our loop as big as we want it. I'm going to do four loops all together, two larger, two smaller. When we get to the middle, if we carried on the way we are, the back would be showing. So we twist it in the middle, push it down. Then we make a loop, the same size as the loop on the other side. We need them even. So get them to sit in together nicely. And we thread those back through. Making sure they're together nicely. To keep that organza facing up, we need to twist it again. So I'm going to make my next, my last two loops, which are going to be smaller than the first. And we do the twist. And then we're going to do the same again. Now we don't need to twist this time because this is the end of my bow. I'll just plug in my hot glue gun for a little trick that I have. Love my hot glue gun. Now I have that finished. We're going to grab our ribbon from underneath. Now we bring it back through those slits and we tie a knot. Tie the knot and bring it down and through the center and do it as tight as you possibly can, pushing down. And you can slip it back up and then I tie it again so it's nice and secure on the back. not going to go anywhere. There we go. Now I'm going to snip those ends off. There we go. Fold your tails down. These are wired and they're lovely. I'm just going to put cut that back a little bit. 
It's all secured in place, so it won't make a difference. That little end gone. Now for the front of the bow, to dress the front of the bow, I like to keep this still attached. I'm going to fold it back, get hold of it on the back, and then bring it around the front. Now on the back, I can use my glue gun, glue those two pieces together, and it just dresses a bow nicely, have in the middle. And then we can just fluff it up. Blubber glue to secure the first part. And I'm going to fold it all the way around quite tight and glue it on the back. So both ends of that are secured. There we go. hot glue gun this is why I get burnt when I'm with the glue gun and material let's give that another little dot in there and then we just dress it and proof it up and it's done I'll just cut the remains off. Using the base ribbon being wired, it helps fluff it up and make it look all pretty. There's our bow, ready to be glued to the main body. And I've finished floofing. Okay, for the main box, I get these plastic boxes. They're reusable. People can do with them what they wish. And I like that it's just not a gift. You can use it for whatever you want after. Now, I'm going to fill that with peanuts. These are the cellulose ones that just melt down. We will be putting in pretty burner. And there's its top bowl. And these two melts, Velvet Rose and Oud and Nag Champer and Jasmine. So we'll have an attempt to see how shallow I need that. I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of the bag, safety first. And use the bubble wrap to sit the burner on. The burner's quite deep, so it doesn't need much packing, but I will build up these sides so the melts are going to sit pretty much even. Now. Let's put an extra handful in for now and we'll keep on going. We're going to sit those on a bit of tissue paper and I use about half a sheet per one of these little boxes. 
and just cut a piece. In fact, I'll put two. These little sticky pads for balloons are a godsend. I use those to secure the paper as we go. Give it a little bit of a scrunch up. Get it sat evenly in the bottom. And I'll start securing that where the bird is going to sit. Just a little glue dot. Fold your paper. And then just attach it to the wall. glue gun already. Right, this burner will sit there on that paper. And these will sit nicely folded in around the edges. Now what I'm going to do with the dish, I'm going to sit it inside the burner. It's tall, it's too tall to stand proud at the end. So we'll just do it this way. Not on my nail, on the bowl. Stick that in there. Now we're going to pull, build these sides up. Oops. I want them just under height of the hole. Mm, that one's got some more room. stick these down. Using the glue dots it doesn't damage the box so it looks like new to be reused. I like to get them nice and secure so when it's in transit there's no chance of it coming apart. Add some little tea lights to these sets so they're a complete set and ready to go and they sit in nice and they help secure that too and cushion it into 
this corner. I had these for a birthday. And I thought, ooh, I wonder. And I love them, they're perfect for this. The less I'm messing on with a glue gun, the better. Because I post a lot of these, the best way to package them, I found a shrink wrap. Holds everything in place. Nothing can move around much. And that's really fun to do too. Sticky dots. Put one more just there. Gonna lift this. It's holding it in together nicely. That's folded around. Add one over there. Any spaces that you can see aren't tucked in. I just go around and restick. Tea candles, I'll glue gun those into the gap there. I also use the sticky labels, sticky labels, sticky tabs. I put a couple of dots on the back of these to hold them where I want them to sit in the box. They're quite time consuming to make, but I love them. I love making them. So I really don't mind. It's not folded very neatly. Last one. There we go. I want to 
to stick more to my fingers today. Okay, so that one's going to go there. And that one's going to go there. Oh, hang on, that one's snapped, so I'll have to get another one. I'll just grab another. Glue that's on the back of this one again. That's the thing with uh, so it's a soft wax, so you have to be gentle. So there we are, they're stuck in. The best shrink wrap I found are actually bags for hampers so we get a little gift set and we slip it inside the bag these bags are too big for these boxes so I do have to cut them back Take it right to the bottom end. I cut a strip off the bottom. Now I take a V out of the bottom. I'm going to be turning it over and hot glue gun in this to the bottom of the box just to keep it in place while I shrink it. So we need to have each side in there. The corners I can cut back as I'm doing and melting back. I just have, like to have the bottom ready. Same with this side. Now we're going to turn it over. So I get a tight hold of the bag and gently turn it over. Now we're going to put this back on the bottom. I'm just going to glue a line round to hold that in place. And stick that down. Oh, I missed it on there. And this side we're going to bring forward. Just cut this back some more. Doesn't matter how neat and tidy those corners are, they're gonna be disappearing anyway. Oops. I need to take some of the length off that. So I can glue that on too. I don't want to glue that in place. Now that's all attached, we can turn back over. Because everything's stuck down, everything's not moved at all. And we're going to 
get a hot air gun and shrink. This I love doing, absolutely love it. There, got that top nice and tightly in place. Now we're going to move around the sides and do the same to them. So I do the long sides first, so then I can concentrate on sorting the corners out. You have to be gentle, or you can put holes in it. So even heat all over, just gently, not too close. And you can go back over areas. So now this side. Now we've got the top and the bottom. I can go back over the top and just tighten that a little bit more. We're going to do these ends. Now we we'll have got all this extra on the ends, but that will shrink back and we can cut some back. And cut any excess of the shrink. I'll hold it down so it doesn't shrink to the top. underneath I'll cut the shrink off and then mold it and the same with this side You cut it while it's still warm and get a better finish. And then finally, we go on to the bottom. There we go. Now the final part is, if I can find where I put it. Where are you little piece of ribbon? There we are. I'm going to glue a strip of this on and I'm gonna glue the, rib the ribbon, the bow to it. 
So I'll just neaten up that edge. Take it around. This is where I tend to hurt myself a little bit. So a little bit of glue. On one end of that ribbon. So it's nice and secure. And then I can stretch this side tighter. And then glue this on top. My bow that I made earlier, and give that its final little twiddle and placement. And that I'm just going to glue, glue onto that top corner, make sure everything's in place. There we go, and that's another gift set finished. Looks nice that one, I like it. And there you go. Thanks for watching everyone.